Hello and welcome to the Gradual Report. My name is Danny. I'm your best friend on the internet. And this week is Science Week. Today, I will show you how to make an electromagnet. An electromagnet the likes of which few people have ever seen. Because I built it today. And I'm the only one who's seen it thus far. Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. For this project, you're going to need to assemble a number of items. One of these items is not hedge clippers. I actually just got those hedge clippers because I need to clip a hedge. Such a large assortment but you don't need it for your electromagnet. It's just I was already at the store to buy the items for the electromagnet. I thought, oh yeah, I need some hedge clippers to clip that hedge. So I went ahead and got some. The items you're actually going to need to buy is some wire, like a really big fucking nail. The, the, the other electromagnets that I've seen on the internet, they're, they're all like little shitty ones with like little shitty nails. If you're gonna make a really cool electromagnet, you need a big giant impressive nail. Electromagnets are only as impressive as the badass nails you use to build them with. That's why I chose this huge nail over this tiny little shit nail. It was only three cents more and I thought, Jesus, if I'm gonna spend three more cents on something, I want it to be freaking awesome. After you've purchased everything, walk through that parking lot like really strut your shit. Because everyone's gonna be like, what's that guy strutting for? You're gonna be like, you know what, I'm building an electromagnet today, so get off my fucking balls, world. First thing I'm gonna do is mount the components to the electromagnet to this to the back of the skateboard deck. Um, you can use any piece of wood you want, but since I'm awesome, I have, like, discarded skateboard decks all over my house because I'm so freaking cool. Once you've mounted the switch, you're gonna wanna mount this, like, badass piece of cardboard, um, to hold the nail because I read somewhere that it might heat up if you use a lot of voltage and I'm really scared of burning my sensitive fingertips so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this piece of cardboard here um, to hold the nail kind of like a like a mount um, then you wanna take your your fresh copper wire you wanna wrap that nail up really tight the more coils you have around your your nail the stronger your electromagnet is going to be so wrap that Wrap that copper wire really tight, just as really just as tight as you can get it, and then and then put that nail down on that cardboard. You know, just kind of wedge it in there, and um, and get her wedged. What you want to do is take one end of the wire and connect it to the plus side of the battery, and then the other end of the wire to the negative side of the battery. And what I have here is a little switch in place so that uh, I can. Um, Throw the switch and turn on the electromagnet. Let's see the how it works. Staples are still not reacting to the nail. We turn on our electromagnet. Oh, buddy! Look at that! Look at that, huh? It's an electromagnet! The. Uh, come on. And there you have it! The Death Ray Electromagnet. Running off of a 12 volt battery that is now smells like burnt plastic. Final summation, $8 worth of electromagnetivity will melt your $45 battery in a matter of minutes. Yes, that will happen. I love you, my little lemon drops. Do join us on Friday when we do another fantastic experiment. Because this week is science week. Yes, yes it is.